How does something like this happen? The math really doesn't work, does it? 20,000 fans, 3,000 tickets. Well, it's 3,000 tickets that were allocated to Cologne fans in the uh, Cologne end, uh, in, in the segregated end. Um, I spent some time uh, uh, on, on German media reading uh, Cologne fan forums, and uh, it was pretty obvious. A lot of these guys had gotten tickets on the black market. Uh, a lot of these guys had gotten tickets from Arsenal fans. Uh, there were even reports, unconfirmed right now, that a lot of these people who, you know, after 25 years really wanted to be there for the first Europa League game, uh, had actually uh, bought Arsenal memberships. Since morale at Arsenal is pretty low right now, and uh, after, what, 15 years of Champions League football, they're not too excited about the Europa League, a lot of Arsenal fans didn't take up the option to buy the tickets. So, uh, you know, these new Cologne fans with membership, with Arsenal memberships, uh, uh, acquired them. Um, and I should say, everything, even during the day, with, uh, even though as intimidating as it might seem to, look, to see 20,000 people marching through the center of town, um, it was all very peaceful. Uh, their meeting point by the stadium, it was publicized on their websites. Everybody knew they were going there. I think the question is, uh, you know, were the authorities, uh, did they, were they as well prepared as they could have been? Well, this is the question, Gab. Do you think there will be any repercussions uh, because of this? Look, I, I'd just be speculating right now. Uh, there's a lot of facts, uh, but what I can tell you is, is that what, what the facts are that need to be established, and that is um, we know that there were some, some incidents of, uh, uh, of, of, of fans trying to, trying to break through barriers. Um, you know, what was behind that? Uh, I think certainly they, they, they could be punished for that. Uh, we need to establish, you know, how many of those fans who were there, how many of them were actually ticketless, and how many of them actually had tickets, but maybe not tickets that they were, you know, meant to have purchased because they, they got them on the black market or they got them from Arsenal supporters. Uh, and I think also from a law enforcement perspective, uh, did, did they cooperate as well as they might have with their German colleagues and, and, and so on? Um, but this was widely uh, advertised that all these people were coming. Of course, they're, they're free to move. Uh, a lot of them just wanted to be in London to give the team a send off and, and, and to, be, to be there outside the stadium uh, when, when the team bus arrived. Um, and, and clearly, I think something went wrong in terms of, uh, of the, way they were, the way they were greeted and the way the situation was handled.